Greetings Captain, Zabal Revan here, hope you're all doing well and today we're covering off some uh, interesting stories uh, that have uh, been going on for the World of Warships and we're going to be covering about a couple of topics. Now we're going to summarize on a few interesting dev blogs that's come out most recently and also highlighting the, something about the um, world of warships now world of warships most recently celebrated seven wonderful years for the franchise that is seven wonderful years for world of warships uh, most recently we celebrated with a bit of a cake a uh, celebration for world of warships we have been through a lot since 2015 until now um, the game has evolved a fair bit so folks if you haven't checked out the camos or what's available for your rewards go check it out um, there's also from previous uh, last year for the six year anniversary for the game as well go ahead and check that out it's all good for you to get that for yourselves and um yeah captains i think you're gonna love it now if you're interested in checking out the video marathon that happened most recently for world of warships that happened not too long ago actually it was kind of funny because i was streaming at a time and i was actually watching a part of the footage while i was streaming and i have to say it was actually very good to see um they had a great variety of videos from live footage from the past um, to different content creators um, who are community contributors who are actually sharing their views about the franchise and a lot of things were happening so it was actually pretty cool but um, a big shout out to all the streamers the content creators who have been streaming World of Warships for you folks out there you're doing a fantastic job um, in your own way of what are you doing with your communities and stuff like that you're making them grow you're building up good relations with the community i want to say a big thank you to all of you out there you've done a great job um it's actually interesting when i was actually thinking about then regarding to where nearly the end of september believe it or not which is very scary it's because like we are less than three months away to christmas please don't remind me <laughs> but um yeah in all seriousness though um we have a lot of things coming up and i will tell you this much that uh, you definitely will enjoy it this time of year you also get to read the history stories about unsinkable sam the cat which is pretty awesome unsinkable sam the cat has been through a lot of lives um from the bismarck to the cossack and the ark royal definitely good historical stories based on this cat and it's worthwhile getting and honestly um if you're interested in getting the unsinkable sam camo and to recognize it uh, for the event the funny thing about this ship is that you can actually see the cat in the dockyard at the time if when you look at the cossack or the bismarck or the ark royal you'll see the unsinkable sand will just got either purring away through up and down through gun turrets or torpedo tubes or whatever or on the deck on the ship um what's more to be said it's actually some random funny moments in the game as well but uh it's awesome it always is but uh, look folks i mean like uh we're going to dive right into talking about the dev blog so let's get to the where the nitty gritty starts in so most recently um my world of warships has been through a lot of preparation lead up to 11.9 which is less than a month away which happens around about mid-october anyhow so as of right now we're nearly the end of september which is very scary and uh times have changed rather real quick so let's bring you up to speed so what we can bring you up to speed on is like quickly give you a bit of rundown on 11.8 um before it leaves the door towards 11.9 um there's a lot of changes going on with regarding to the dutch destroyer called trump as well as the Soviet battleship Admiral Yusukov, as well as the British aircraft carrier Malta. There's been good some good changes going on with these ships. Go check it out and read it. 
Um, it's mostly focused to do with, you know, reload timers, airstrikes, the armor belts um, to change the thickness of it or decrease it, as well as um, improving, you know, dispersion, as well as, you know, the parameters of attack aircraft and so on and so forth. Please note that anything that you see here will subject to change, but always, you know, this is a good opportunity for you to check it out. Now, um, the funny thing is in the clan bells that's happening right now, there's a bit of slight change as of today, which is the 21st of September. So looks like there's going to be a limited number of Cherubogs and also Bayards because people have complained about how many ships were used in each of the clan bells. Now I have to say that, you know, a good ship like that was totally abused in the clan bells. And I have to say, when I have seen it firsthand, it was actually pretty damn evident um, that, you know, people were abusing the system. And I have to say, you know, thanks to the people out there who actually pointed out and told Wargaming that they need to change it up. Well, they've done the right thing by doing so. In all seriousness, though, a lot of people can't handle, like, with too many Petros in a battle, as well as um, Moskovas and other ships similar to that effect in the higher tiers, in the higher tier clan battles. And now it's a Cherubog at tier, set, tier 8, so very interesting time. Same with the Bayard. Now, the brawls as such, there's a bit of a problem going on with the battleships in terms of div mode for the battleships. Um, they're actually working on that. Uh, at the moment, it's not working properly. Uh, so, therefore, they decided to temporarily disable the ability to join brawls as part of the division for the time being. And I don't think they'll be fixed anytime soon, but they do did say in this blog that they will... Uh, let us know when it has been resolved. So it's a bit unfortunate, um, but we'll have to wait and see how this goes. All right, so here is where the fun begins at 11.9. Now, 11.9, as you know, there's a lot of things happening uh, that we did cover before and we didn't mention in regarding to the wolf pack game mode that's been going to be introduced and also the operations that was going to be announced as well so let's cover that one first full fast so we can talk about this in more detail so operation wolf pack and there's some personal challenges and other news coming on so the halloween event is basically the Sunray and the Darkness, as well as Save in Transylvania. Um, they're both full coming back. And it's going to be a temporary Twilight Battle mode um, going to be introduced as well. So that people can actually have a bit of fun and, in, you know, have a good time doing so for at least a good month worth of activities. Now, um, the whole thing is supposed to be going for at least two weeks. But um, let's just talk about it in general so that you understand what you're in for. So these achievements can be done in divisions and you can do it as a group and you can have fun with it. It's actually awesome. Um, but yeah, definitely these uh, missions are quite achievable. So Operation Wolfpack is where the gossip is at right now for everyone out there in the community. Now, Operation Wolfpack is based on a pure submarine challenge. That's it. That's right. So everyone who will be playing this game mode will be playing as submarines um, surrounding an, an inspired scenario based on World War II events. Now, it's going to be where German submarines are going to go against Allied convoys, okay? And the other team, there's no uh, real-life players play on that. You will have just general NPCs with a better AI, quote-unquote, going up against you at uh, the high tiers. Um, so from tier 6 uh, to tier 8 
uh, some rings there's a good you know variety out there um there'll be seven players uh, per team which is pretty damn awesome the objective is to break through and escort the screen groups and destroy transports before they reach their destination which is pretty straightforward for a submarine um your job is pretty much hunt hunt down seek and destroy as many transport ships as much as possible um for the first two weeks um the 11.9 the wolf pack will only be available for divisions then it will become available as operation of the week which is pretty much you know what we used to in the past so it's gonna be interesting though this is actually a pretty sweet you know deal with everything going on here uh, personal challenges um 9.9 uh, has a lot of good personal challenges for you to go through it's actually very nice it's actually pretty straightforward um definitely it's um, worthwhile doing it that's for sure okay i just noticed a couple of things here that when i was looking at this very carefully that the submarine mechanics have improved and they have either done a good implementation or they have not so it depends on you what how you feel it as it is but i feel that there's some new uh, technical changes and here that's actually pretty decent that's for sure um definitely with the asw Defense is actually pretty decent, but take it as it is a bit of a grain of salt with the auto defense for CVs. Honestly, there is a bit of a pro and con behind this. I'm for it, but also I'm against it because you can't really control it um, in terms of where you want uh, your auto ASW to be deploying. But at the same time, if you think about it, you're more focused on flying the aircraft around anyway. So you got all the aircraft um, taken off for fighter defense, you might as well do it with the, the anti-submarine warfare. But in all seriousness though, the anti-submarine warfare mechanics for the CVs shouldn't be really in there. Um, the Huron is in there in the game as well. And also some interesting new camos has been going on. Um, definitely go check it out as well. Now, Game back into the task at hand about the new incoming ships for 11.9. There's a whole bunch of new ships coming in 11.9. So pretty much let's go with this. Um, the Undyne, the Sturdy, the Thrasher, the British Cruiser Monmouth, um, also British Battleship Renown 44, German Cruiser Leipzig, and will be available for testing soon. So these are the new british submarines that's coming out the undyne as well as the sturdy and the thrasher at tier six eight and ten all of them have very different um you know uh weapons and stuff like that but notice that they have deck guns um the funny thing about it all is that the deck guns are going to be considered as uh, let's see they can be directly controlled by the player so that's interesting <laughs> that's what i think but hey it's awesome though it's awesome um it's a pretty good setup though but if you want to check out the schematics of the submarine and all the details about it, definitely go check it out. Um, also, there's the Renown 44, which is a nice battleship at tier 7. Good for operations, by the way. Um, definitely go check it out. But it's a fast-moving battleship, such as the QE, which is Queen Elizabeth. Um, by the way, uh, rest in peace to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II um who recently most uh, recently passed away but uh that my friends was actually a very good uh service for the her majesty and um 
I hope um, our thoughts and prayers to go towards the royal family and the people who are mourning about this as well. So rest in peace, Her Majesty. Um, now, getting back into this part, and it looks like there's going to be some interesting uh, details coming in about the German cruiser Leipzig. Looks nice for T6. Um, it feels like it's a light cruiser, like a Nuremberg, which is pretty much what they just said, like a Nuremberg. So there you go. Um, definitely got to check out the stats of that thing. It's actually pretty cool. Also, um, the Monmouth uh, Tier 10. Now that is going to be a heavy cruiser. That, my friends, is actually something that we've been waiting for, waiting to see. So definitely worthwhile checking out. But yeah, that's uh, actually got some decent firepower on the shells there. Hmm, very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, it's going to be interesting moving forward though, and to see how the new Japanese cruisers are coming out to play. So the new Japanese cruisers, like the Ogano, the Gokase, the Shimanto, as well as um, Takahashi, and the Yodo, which is a very good uh, Japanese cruisers to check out on. They got a mixture of good, you know, fine range increase or decrease as well as firepower, detectability and stuff like that that's going on. Um, the Trump is getting tweaked up again uh, for its uh, HE penetration as well as the main battery reload. And um, also the British cruiser Monmouth is going to be fixed the parameters of, with the AP shell fuse delay increase from 0 0.005 seconds to 0 0.033 seconds, which is weird. Anyway, um, preparation time for submarine surveillance and Soviet submarines will be reduced, as well as the American, British and German submarines preparation time for submarine surveillance uh, the consumable for it has been reduced as well too. Um, the following command skills for submarines have also been changed. Um, definitely go check out the consumable specialist, helmsman, and the consumable enhancements. They have been tweaked up a fair bit. Everything in here that you see right now will always subject to change. Now, in all seriousness though, there's some good positive things going on in the world of warships. Um, but you know, it will take a while. It will take a while. It will take a while with everything going on. That's for sure. But uh, look, folks, I think that's uh, pretty much it for now. But um, look, you know, big happy seven years for World of Warships. Hope you're all having a wonderful time uh, wherever you are around the world. Uh, I definitely want to say a big thanks to all the people who have supported the franchise and definitely keep up the good work. You're doing a great job all around for those who had been streaming, for those who had been playing the game or whatever suits your fancy. But at the end of the day, it's all about you having fun and that's the main thing. Big thanks to everyone for your hard work and everything, but take care, stay safe, captains, and I shall see you all on the next stream which is sometime soon in the near future.